Hello, in this AV we will be talking about the numericals of chapter 4 that is pressure in fluids and atmospheric pressure. We will be doing exercise 4b. We will be trying and solving at least one numerical of each type. So to take up the first question, we have written the question. It says that convert 1 millimeter of Hg into Pascal. So what we do is as usual we write all the given things and just to tell you that in this exercise we would be mainly using one formula pressure is equal to rho Hg where P is the pressure, rho is the density of the liquid, H is the height or depth and G is the acceleration due to gra gravity. So we start writing the given things. So here we have written the given things, density of the mercury, it's given here, 13.6 into 10 days to the power 3 kg per meter cube and acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. Now we have been given the height of the mercury, height of the mercury column is 1 millimeter. So we, do, we convert it into meter divided by 1000 and we will get 0 0.001 meter. Now we have got the height, we have uh, got the acceleration due to gravity, we have the density. Now we have to find the pressure. So we know that pressure is equal to, I am not writing the full form, I am just writing it in formula, density of the liquid multiplied by the height multiplied by acceleration due to gravity. So density of the liquid is given here, that is 13.6 into 10 raised to the power 3 kg per meter cube multiplied by height we have calculated it to be 0 0.001 meter sorry uh, meter multiplied by acceleration due to gravity 9.8 meter per second square so after we calculate everything when we multiply it we will get 133.28 and since this is pressure, so we write it in terms of Pascal. So this is the answer. Now we go to the next type of the question that is question number 3. It says at sea level the atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter of mercury. If air pressure falls by 10 millimeter of mercury per 120 meter of ascent, what is the height of a hill where barometer reads 70 centimeter Hg? So first we will write the given things. So here we have written atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter Hg let us denote it as P and pressure at the hill let it be P prime. So pressure at the hill is 70 centimeter Hg and atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter Hg. This is what is given in the question. So we can find out the total fall in the pressure. So total fall in pressure will be nothing but P minus P prime that is atmospheric pressure minus the pressure at hill. So 76 minus 70 is nothing but 6 centimeter Hg. Now we have been asked to find the height. So for every 1 centimeter Hg it says that it rises by 20, 120 meter. So let's write it. So here we have written now for fall in pressure is 1 centimeter Hg for every 120 meter increase in height. So to find the total height what we can do is this is what we have calculated the total fall in pressure. So therefore if the fall in pressure pressure is 6 centimeter hg this is what we have calculated then the increase in height increase in height is nothing but 6 into 120 so if you multiply you will get 720 meter. So this is the height that we had to calculate. Now please write that the height is 720 meter 
and devasas for the assumption. So we simply assume that atmospheric pressure falls linearly with accent. While reading the chapter, we have discussed this and you'll get it in the textbook as well. Now we go to question number four, which says at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is 1.04 into 10 raised to the power 5 Pascal assuming g to be 10 meter per second square that is acceleration due to gravity and density of air to be uniform and equal to 1.3 kg per meter cube find the height of the atmosphere so first write the given things atmospheric pressure so we have almost written what are the things given atmospheric pressure is p is equal to this 1.04 into 10 raised to the power 5 pascal acceleration due to gravity is g 10 meter per second square and density of air is 1.3 kg per meter cube now we have to find the height so we assume that let h be the height of the atmosphere now so we know we know that the pressure is equal to h rho g or rho h g whatever so we have to calculate the height so we'll keep height on one side and rest of the entities will be pushed to the other side so rho into g will be this side now we know the pressure pressure here is 1.04 into 10 raised to the power 5 divided by <coughs> the density that is 1.3 multiplied by acceleration due to gravity that is 10 so 13 8 is 104 then 1 this 2 so three zeros 8000 meter so the height of the atmosphere please write here the height of the atmosphere is 8000 meter this is the answer so now we go to the last part last question that is question number five and it says assuming the density of air to be 1.295 kg per meter cube find the fall in barometric height in millimeter of hg that is mercury at a height of 107 meter above the sea level and we have to take the density of mercury to be 13.6 into 10 raised to the power 3 kg per meter cube so what we do is we assume here you can write the given things and we can just write that let height be equal to 107 meter this is the height above sea level so we write be the height above the sea level so this is done now <coughs> pressure difference that is pressure at a certain height minus pressure at the sea level is equal to rho h g and here this density is nothing but density of air so we will just put the values so here pressure we know that p is equal to rho h g so here for this height this is because of the mercury so density of mercury multiplied by g multiplied by the height this is the final height minus sea level was the initial height so density of mercury multiplied by g that is acceleration due to gravity and height initial that is equal to rho that is density of air multiplied by height multiplied by g so we can take few things common here so if we take density of mercury and g common from both 
we will get density of mercury into g and height final minus height initial is nothing but the change in height so that is equal to density of air multiplied by the g and h or h and g so change in height or change in barometric height is g and g will cancel out and we were we are left with density of air multiplied by height divided by density of mercury so density of air the value is given here it is this one uh, 1.295 so we write 1.295 multiplied by the height so height is 107 meter so 107 divided by mercury uh, density of mercury to be 13.6 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 so if you solve it you will find that this will come to be equal to 0 0.010 meter of hg because here we were given in these units were in meters so if i have to convert it into millimeter then we will multiply it and we will get 10 millimeter of hg that is the answer that's all in this av practice properly thank you so much god bless